Okay, Gun Collector 007 here with just a quick review of a new holster that I just got. And this is a really fantastic holster that I got from a company called Craft Holsters. And this is the second holster that I've gotten from Kraft in the last couple of years. Uh, the first one I got almost three years ago now and still going very, very strong is this black one here for a Ruger SP-101-357. And this is an inside the waistband holster and uh, it's fantastic. It works really, really good. Excellent quality and I love it. This time I decided to try something different and this is a small of the back holster, SOB holster. And it's meant to be worn in the uh, six o'clock position, like so. Um, I have never actually had a small of the back holster and uh, I figured let me give some, you know, give it a try. But I'm really impressed with it. The company is uh, located in Europe. These are all handmade and uh, very, very high quality holsters. The leather is heavy duty. The stitching is heavy duty. Everything about it is, um, is top notch. The um, end of the holsters is reinforced, so uh, taking the gun in and out is very easy to do so. Uh, this one comes with two belt holes, which I'll demonstrate in a second. But um, so you slide the belt through and you slide it through again and then you wear it again at the six o'clock position. All of these craft holsters come with a five year warranty on it and they also have free shipping on all of your uh, orders. So uh, that's it. But again, very high quality. You can see this one is molded and these are unloaded guns, by the way. So this is a Smith & Wesson 642 and it you know literally fits like a glove. Now, um, I like I said, I've tried it with also a Ruger LCR and it also fits very, very well. But this one was made specifically for the 642, so that's the one that I will be carrying it in. Um, one of the things, they do send you a holster break-in kit and um, haven't even opened it really. Uh, it's a break-in um, liquid, a wood dauber, I guess to put the uh, liquid on, and a microfiber cloth. And honestly, again, I haven't used it because um, I've just let this gun sit in the holster for about a week and it's perfect. So um, thank you for that. But, uh, you know, I didn't need it, but, you know, maybe other guys uh, would need it. But again, I really like this. Um, you could just tell sometimes when you just pick up something, whether it's high quality or not. And this definitely is. And again, it's made to be worn in the six o'clock position. So uh, we'll just demonstrate that quickly. So the way the way this would be worn is this is in your back here and uh, you, you just slide it through like so and then you would take your belt and slip it through the second part like this and you pull it through so now sorry about that so now when this is on your back it's going to be fitting just like this so I am right-handed so the gun is going to be riding like this in the back of my jeans and so the grip will be up and if I needed to grab it I just reach behind and I pull it out and that's it and to reholster it again it's got a nice wide mouth to stick it back in again so very high quality um, uh, it's it's something pretty comfortable I, I wore this yesterday for the first time and uh, you really hardly know what's there it does sort of sit in like the small indentation in the back in your back and with such a small gun like this um, very very uh, high quality I don't know if I would use it for a 1911 or a, a large Beretta or anything like that this particular uh, holster an SOB holster uh, but Kraft also makes outside the waistband and inside the waistband holsters too so um, so that's really it so if you're looking for a high quality holster uh, go to craftholsters.com and check them out Again, they have uh, free shipping. Um, they send it in a really nice box. Um, it comes like this, it says Craft Holsters on it. It comes with a whole bunch of uh, packing stuff. So it's, it's really, they put a lot of thought and you can tell just from the box, you know, and, and again, by adding you this little uh, break-in kit, 
you know, it's a really a nice touch and uh, I didn't need it on this particular holster, but you know, maybe I could use it on another holster. So just a quick look, something new for me is a smaller back holster. I've never, like I said, had one of these before. I normally wear it inside the waistband or sometimes outside the waistband, but um, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, as you get older, your back starts to hurt in different spots. And so, you know, it's good to move the gun around and that's it. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care.